Well, tonight our topic is uh, questions surrounding family court. Uh, Judge Janine Hunt Hilliard is here with us tonight. We're so appreciative of your time. Let's turn now uh, back to the phone lines. Cindy from Jasper has been holding patiently and we really appreciate that. Cindy, if you will, go right ahead with your question uh, for the judge. Yes, thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. My question is, um, my husband and I have custody of our grandson, full custody, and the parents were told to pay child support, which we have not pushed for them to pay it. I've never gone to the court to make them pay, but they haven't paid. Will my grandson, when he gets of age, we will he still be able to go back to the courts itself and say, okay, I didn't receive the support I needed from my parents. Can he still draw that support or get that out of them? It sounds like what you're saying is that there has already been um, an, a, a decision made in a court of law that the parent should play, pay, be paying child support currently. Um, and if that is the case, that, that amount of child support continues to accumulate um, I would encourage you, however, not to wait um, until the child is of age, but to go ahead um, and if you're going to file some with the something with the court to do it now. So Judge, can, do, those, do those child support, the order would obviously be uh, for whoever's the guardian. That That's would right. be the payee. That's correct. Um, but can the, um, can the child actually, when they reach age of majority, and there's a balance of $100,000, can they start garnishing a, uh, a, a paycheck of a dad or mom? I've that, never heard of that I, being I, done. As far as I know, it would still have to be the grandmother who's the person the, um, who is going after the funds. Right, but it does, uh, it does stay there. I've, oh, it in, stays. In, oh. In, our, in, in our business, uh, when we're dealing with uh, accident cases and things like that from literally around the country, mm -hmm. A child support lien is a super lien. It like is. It, it's, <laughs> it supersedes everything. You get wow. calls from Illinois or Arkansas, I mean, all over the place um, running down child support liens. I mean, it's a, it's a heck of a thing. But let me make Don't sure go away. I'm clear right. in understanding, though. Mm -hmm. So if the child gets to 25 and there's still a balance, the parents are still responsible? They absolutely mm -hmm. are. Oh. Okay. Absolutely. I thought once 19 is reached that they... There's no new child support after after the age of 19. Correct. However, any back uh, arrears that are still there are still owed yeah, you don't until get, they're you don't paid off. You don't get to off. say, woo, we made it. Yeah, right. that's what, okay. <laughs> okay. And you just never know. But, but again, the child could not necessarily go after that. It would have to be, in this case, the grandparents or whomever the guardian is. That's correct. Okay. Okay. And talk a little bit about child support because I think a lot of... Uh, folks hear that and, and that scares them off. You heard the one caller say, you know, look, the parents are avoiding uh, paying child support or pay working because they don't want to pay child support. There is a formula that is used to reach the payment. Can you talk a little bit about how that works and um, just how that whole process works? Sure, absolutely. Um, once it is determined that child support is owed, the way that it's uh, calculated is basically you take a look at what the, each parent is, is uh, making, mm -hmm. their income, um, we consider things like health insurance, any one, if one of them is paying for health insurance. We consider daycare um, if we need to. Um, and we, and it it's really is just a formula. Mm -hmm. We kind of stick all the numbers into that formula and it tells us um, how much is going to be paid by, and by which party. I know that there are situations where the parents agree, you know, hey, we won't, I won't take you to court mm -hmm. um, if you agree to pay this much. Do you recommend that? If it's working, stick with it. What is your advice? That's a sticky <laughs> That's area, yes. uh, to be very <laughs> honest. You know, it, to protect the rights, of, you know, your rights and the rights of the child as to that child support, the best thing is to just go ahead and file. Okay. Um, establish paternity, if it has not been established in mm -hmm. another manner. Establish paternity, mm -hmm. um, have child support ordered. If you all come to an agreement um, as to you know, some, something other than what the guidelines would suggest. Okay. The judge may consider that um, in awarding child support. Okay. Um, but that is the safest route. Now I know that where relationships are good, a lot of times parents will just do it with, by themselves. And, and that's great as long as it works. 
Um, but when the relationships start to break down, which happens a lot, um, then you certainly need to take advantage of what the court has to offer. And in those situations, when you're seeking child support, do you recommend hiring an attorney for that? I absolutely do. Okay. I think that's the best way to go about it. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. Family court um, will allow you to come in and file whatever petition you want to file. And again, it is a formula. So as long as you're able to get the information that's necessary to kind of fill in the form, mm -hmm. we can do it. Okay. And we do it every single day. Okay. Um, that's one of the cases, we, we hear those cases all day, every day. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if, it's, if there's not a level of cooperation amongst the parties mm -hmm. um, or some other issues, if there's some potential for hidden income and things of that mm -hmm. sort, I certainly would recommend an attorney. I think that's all good information. There's so many, I think, issues. And, and a lot of folks are afraid to even approach the subject, broach the subject. Should I do it? Should I not? You know, just afraid of re retaliation, I guess, or, you know, they won't let me see the child. And I think that's an important topic as well to touch on. Support, child support and visitation are separate matters, correct? That's exactly what I was going to say. Okay. Child support and visitation are separate matters. Okay. If someone is not paying child support, that does not mean that they're not supposed to see their child. Okay. Um, if they're not paying child support, you have a course of action, which is to go to court and file uh, a contempt petition. Okay. And the court will take care of it. But you don't withhold visitation. Visitation is for the sake of the welfare of the child. Um, a child should have a good relationship with both parents where they are both fit parents. That period. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think a lot of folks, I think, don't realize that. And sometimes it's I'm going to withhold visitation because you're not paying. And that's not the way the law works. That's correct. So don't take the law into your own hands. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Judge, you have been great uh, answering just a lot of questions tonight, helping to educate us about the law and how things work. And we certainly appreciate it, especially first time staying up late with yes. us. Uh, yes. And the programs that you all have going on at Family Court really just to address uh, issues for our community. So grateful for your service. It has been my pleasure. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you for Absolutely. all the good work y'all do over there. Yes. It's Absolutely. really important.